Elon Musk is constructing his city in Africa. You have likely heard of Elon Musk and his achievements in the space industry. But did you know that he is also creating his own city in Africa? It may seem absurd, but many individuals do not want to work in the space sector. Elon Musk has altruistic ambitions. Others blame him for neglecting the political instability in the region. Elon Musk has officially declared his intention to construct a whole new city in Africa. Musk's ambition is to construct an inclusive city where people have access to permanent housing, free universal health care, and free university education. The South African government has authorized Musk's idea to build his own city. Elon Musk is intending to develop his own city in Botswana, seven miles from Gaboron, which has an estimated population of one million. Building a smart city in an effort to solve some of Africa's most pressing issues, he intends to construct a solar-powered metropolis using sustainable energy that will be 10 times larger than existing cities in both population and size. This new city will be constructed just outside Cape Town, South Africa, which has a population of approximately 4 million people. Ilan intends to name it Neo Garden and will assist with development immediately. With 8 million square feet, Neo Garden will be a verdant utopia. Ilan has fewer open spaces than other cities because he does not want to waste land on concrete streets or parking lots and believes everyone should live within walking distance. They have to design everything for their future city using machines and robots, which means you won't see any construction crews there. All of this equipment will take soil samples, allowing Elon Musk to formulate his plants. The maker can choose where to manufacture the product initially and when it is ready. Glass windows and furniture can be manufactured locally. You have heard that Elon Musk has launched rockets into orbit and made electric automobiles inexpensive for everyone before anything is completed so that the logistics are extremely efficient. Elon Musk is an entrepreneur who disassembles things. Elon intends to utilize drones as little flying objects fitted with sensors that fly over the city looking for any problems. Sustainability is the primary focus of Elon Musk's new city, which will feature roof gardens and a large number of trees. Elon described the project as his baby and spent $18 million of his personal fortune on it. Why is Elon constructing his own city? Elon Musk is constructing his own metropolis. It sounds like something out of a science fiction now, and it's not really trending on Twitter right now. But he's tweeting about the possibility of building his own city on Mars. Although what he really means is that he's going to build a city with modern technology and sustainable energy whether we like it or not. Elon Musk is creating a company called The Boring Company to find efficient ways to bore tunnels through things without harming himself. It should come as no surprise that he wishes to establish his own African metropolis. Even crazier is Elon's claim that the first models of his driverless vehicles would be available within two years. True, he works long hours every day and doesn't appear to take time off work if Elon Musk is given the opportunity to do something else in life. Elon Musk is notorious for taking daring leaps, and it's likely that he would have constructed a city on Mars if he could have. However, building a metropolis in India appears impossible for most humans, let alone one person. But Elon Musk once again proves us wrong. Elon Musk loves cities, or at least that's what he stated in a 2010 TED talk. According to a Bloomberg News article that claims he's developing an entire metropolis using renewable energy sources like solar electricity. When he stated that automobiles were inefficient and terrible for the environment since they produce carbon dioxide, Elon considers it his obligation to do anything he can to reduce global warming, and he considers electric automobiles to be superior to combustion engines, despite the fact that he has produced numerous inventions. Manufacturers A few items remain on his personal bucket list to protect himself from the hazards of artificial intelligence, who is destroying traffic. Again, Elon Musk enjoys working on ideas including space travel, autonomous vehicles, and solar energy. After building his metropolis in Africa, Elon Musk reveals that one of his regrets is the depletion of the world's wealth. It has enormous potential to uplift humanity. So let's take a really large step and don't presume anyone will follow you. Elon Musk is not contemplating building a metropolis in Africa for jokes and chuckles. He truly believes that it will lift people out of poverty and give them hope for the future while also eliminating corruption. Today, it is estimated that more than 800 million people live in extreme poverty across the globe. 
Elon Musk hopes to remedy this by building a fully sustainable metropolis in Africa. It is powered by impure energy and housing for everyone, but it is currently unknown in which nation it will be constructed. Elon Musk simply said, Mars, which is unsurprising given that he has been talking about establishing a settlement there for some time. In fact, he plans to begin construction immediately with an anticipated population. Once, imagine how Elon intends to develop an entire metropolis by himself out of the one million settlers. In an effort to diminish the riches in Africa, where people can spend their money, Elon proposes to construct a complete city from scratch, including homes, companies, and even energy. We are working with private investors to support the project and have already planned solar power systems in each residence to keep expenses low for all occupants. Given that there are presently no precise dates or deadlines for when construction will begin or when Elin's vision will be accomplished, we eagerly anticipate the next major announcement from Elin and his team. As we approach a new era of urbanization, the goal is to make aspirations come true and alleviate global poverty. To accommodate a growing population and changing lifestyles, we must explore new concepts in sustainable urban planning and design, such as vertical farming, underground greenhouses, and environmentally friendly public transportation, as cities are rapidly becoming home to more than half of the world's population. 